they'll be fine. Most people are not going to die from Fukushima. Most people will not have a real problem at all because of Fukushima. Their children, on the other hand, are going to have some problems. And their grandchildren are going to have some problems. And we'll be lucky if there's fucking drinking water in 50 years on this planet. I don't know what it's going to take. Honest to God, I have no idea what it's going to take to get people to wake up. It's, it's not waking up. That's the issue. What can we do? We have to come up with a different idea. We have to figure out a way to get young people aware of the danger of nuclear radiation. That's really the issue is they know it's harmful, but they're not, they don't see it actively engaging in their lives. It's not like they go off to war and they lose an arm or they come back and they're mentally disturbed. Everybody's fine. And our government is actually hitting us over the head with a pack of lies, telling us it's all fine, it's all going to be fine. You know, like Diane Feinstein today saying, Oh my God, the CIA has been spying on the Senate. How dare they do that? Well, she didn't say Jack when they were spying on people like me. I got falsely investigated by the Capitol Police because I called up Mike Pence's office and told him that his vote against extending unemployment might harm some people and might cause some people in New York to freeze to death. His office summarily called the Capitol Police and said I threatened to murder them. So our government called, they called the city of Eugene and had them falsely, they had the, the uh, Sergeant Donica was assigned to investigate me. Now I'm a complete pacifist. I never even spanked my children. I do not believe in violence. I'm a survivor of severe child abuse. I do not believe in violence at all. And in fact, I, I don't think I could pick up a gun to kill somebody. I, I think I, I, I just don't even believe that I could do it. So, I was dumbfounded when I got investigated. Because that status quo in Washington, D.C., if you call up any Republican and tell them that their vote's going to harm people, they'll call up and waste capital dollars. You know how much money it probably costs the city of Eugene to investigate me? At least a few hundred dollars, if not a few thousand dollars. For what? Because I called up and complained? This is what we're up against. How much money are they spending on trolls to spread lies? about Kevin Blanche, about Dana, about Miss Milky. I mean, honestly, it's unbelievable. But forget what, that that's not the hardest part about it all. The most difficult part is just getting people to care. Really, seriously, the most difficult part is getting people to care. Getting people to care about their own children, their own future, that's the hard part. We live in a culture where People don't care about their families? Really? I mean, we're not just talking the United States either. We're talking about South America. We're talking about everywhere. Do we see thousands and thousands of people in the street? You know where we saw thousands of people recently? I think it was, what, Taiwan? Hong Kong? The Chinese? I mean, the truth is, the Chinese government could have a nuclear meltdown, and we would never even know about it because they're a totalitarian society. So they could hide the fact and they could care less. They'll just throw all their people in the tank. They don't care. I mean, look what they're letting all of these American corporations do to their people, paying them 15, 20 cents an hour, sleeping on their machines. They get to work 20 hours a day. They get four or five hours of sleep to profit companies like Apple, motherfuckers. That's why I don't have an Apple. I mean, and yeah, I do have to buy clothes from Pakistan. And I do have to buy clothes from some of those places. I make an effort not to. 311, 2014, three years of nonstop radioactive contamination pouring into the Pacific Ocean. Three years. 365 days times three. Plus, and it's going on. It's the nuclear radioactive waste, and it's the water. 
And the people in Japan are the first test victims, just like they were in World War II. Our government lied about what happened to them, too. Then. We didn't even investigate what happened to them for 10 years. John Goffman did a study and said that the United States basically underreported the effects of radioactivity, negative radioactive effects on the human body by 90%. Our government wormed its way out of paying the Marshallese any money. Most of those people live in poverty and are uneducated. Three out of four babies in the Marshall Islands are born with birth defects. Most people die before they're 60 years old. My sister lives down there, and you know what she said? They have to live with radiation every single day. They all know most of them are going to die of cancer. And that's, we're all being prostrated and groomed. So how do we stop it? You know, I talked to a young lady today at school, and she said her friends are really concerned about it, but they all decided what can they do. There's nothing they can do. So they're just going to live their lives and deal with the effects when it happens to them. Really? That's what they're going to do? When they have their first child and the baby comes out with its brains, not with a big encephalitis head, they'll deal with it then. You know, when they have their first child and the baby's born with six fingers or their 10-year-old son gets cancer, that's what they're going to deal with. And they're not going to get active. They're just going to go, oh, my God, we're going to have to go to the hospital. They get consumed and they won't become activists. We have an 84-year-old nun sitting in jail because she stood up for America. She stood up for all of humanity. And the United States government actually convicted an 84-year-old nun. Sister Megan Rice is sitting in jail right this second. In a horrible system, a gulag system, that our tax dollars have paid for because our elected officials do not want to stop the system. You know what, Senator Feinstein? You know how you can stop the NSA from spying on you? Stop funding them. Say no more money for the NSA. No. Clean house. Fucking convict Clapper for lying. He convicted a... He, he actually... A felony on television. He lied to Congress. That's a felony to lie to Congress. He perpetrated a felony on, on camera to your face and was caught. And has anybody demanded that Eric Holder indict that motherfucker? No. And, you know, the guy from the CIA today says, oh, we would never spy on Congress. That's bullshit. You know they're spying on every fucking person. It's complete bullshit. And for Americans to act like, oh, well, that's just how it is, and that's what it's going to be. No, that's not how. We aspire to better principles than that. We've grown as human beings, and we can be better than that. But the question is, how do we get people actively engaged when they've been postured and groomed to stay inactive and to just accept the terror? You know who the terrorists are? We all know who the terrorists are. And they're not from Saudi Arabia. They're from the United States. And they're sitting inside of banks. And they're sitting inside. They're the CEOs of major corporations. Walmart. You know, Apple. Yeah, these mega corporations that basically terrorize the American public. That guy from Nestle who basically said, water is not a right. Anybody who buys a Nestle product, knowingly buys a Nestle product, is encouraging that bastard. Today is 311. And I honestly just can't figure it out. I've been actively engaged in the Fuku fight for about a year and a half. Kevin and Jan, Rad Chick, they've been doing it for three years. I don't know how they do it. And you know why we do it? Because what else are we going to do? Just go about our business, pretend it's not going to matter, and oh, let's just protect ourselves while we know the rest of our entire planet is being poisoned. There are three nuclear meltdowns. If anybody doesn't know this, there are three nuclear meltdowns in China syndrome. They have lost the Corian. They have no idea where it's at. They're pouring hundreds of thousands of tons of contaminated water into the Pacific Ocean on a daily basis. Every single day. Right now in our country, we have the WPP in New Mexico. And it's spewing plutonium and armoricium. I think that's how you say it. You think those people in New Mexico are not going to start getting cancer in five years? Think again. 
we're going to see genetic defects. We're going to see high levels of sterility because it is a known fact. That's what nuclear radiation does. That is what it does. It's a weapon. It's not an energy source. And we all know the dirty little secret that the reason that we have it is for weapons and is for spaceships. Do we just have to eat off of all off our arms and destroy our culture? Is that what we're all about? We're just going to destroy our culture because everybody's afraid. We're like battered wives. We don't want to out the batterer so we protect him and just let him keep beating the crap out of us until we're dead. You know, I was shocked when Condi Rice participated in the war. I was actually really shocked that a female would participate in such a horrible set of deception, and especially a black woman, a woman of color, and a highly educated woman of color who thinks that she's better than everybody else, just like fucking Hillary Clinton thinks she's better than the rest of us. They think they come from a special family and they're better human beings and they're smarter. It's sad. I don't know what to say to you guys, but I, you know what? We have to come up with a better idea. We can't wait until it's too late. We have to get the young people actively engaged. We have to talk to them on a regular basis. That's what I'm doing. I keep calling the White House and telling them to free Megan Rice. Blah, blah, blah. That's all they hear. They don't care. They don't care about me. They don't care about you. They don't care about themselves. But I care. I care about them, and I care about you, and I care about me, and I care about my children. So uh, I'm going to keep posting. I don't know how we can keep on this, but we have to. We don't have a choice. And, um, you know, it's the three-year mark of an unprecedented event that we ignored. It's not going to get better, folks. Things only get better when we get better. And we can get better. Earth Alleluia. Earth Alleluia. Earth Alleluia. Earth Alleluia. Ciao, YouTubers.